OK, so question A, 21 times 3, fairly simple question, does not require any carrying. So if I was going to set it out, I would put the 21 on the top, like that. Underneath, put the 3, put our line. So now you take the unit from the 21, multiply it by the 3, so 1 times 3 is 3, 2 times 3 is 6, giving an answer of 63. Question B, 47 times 8, will require some uh, carrying, so I'll put the 47 on top, and the 8 underneath, put a line, so 7 times 8 is 56, so the 5 goes underneath the 10's column, so here, and the 6 goes there, and then it's 4 times 8, now 4 times 8 is 32, add on the 5, gives you 37, so a little 3 there, and a 7, and then bring up the 3 to give you 376. Part C, 32 times 45, now this is our first long multiplication question, which can be done in two ways, I'm going to first do the column method, so 32 there, 45 there, does not really matter which one goes on top of which, usually I'll put the one with the most digits on top. Since these both have the same amount of digits, I'll put it doesn't really matter. So, start by multiplying these two digits here by the 5. So, 2 times 5 gives 10. So, carry the 1 and the 0. 3 times 5 gives 15. Add the 1 and you get 16. So, a little 1 in under what would be the hundreds column. Uh, 6 there. And now, we're out of numbers, so we bring the 1 up, 160. <clears throat> so what we've worked out here is 32 times 5. Now, we're going to do 32 times the 4, but that 4, remember, isn't really a 4. It's worth 40, since it's in the tens column. It's 4 tens, which is 40, which is why we have to put a 0 in here before we start. Don't forget that. So now we'll do 2 times 4, which is 8, and we'll put it there. And then 3 times 4, which is 12, so I'll put a little 1 down here, a 2 there, bring the 1 up, and you've got 1,280. So this top number, 160, we got that when we did 32 times 5. This bottom number here, we got when we did 32 times 40. So now, what we're going to do is add them together. 0 plus 0 is 0. 6 plus 8 is 14. Little 1 there, and a 4. 1 plus 2 plus the little 1 we carry is 4. And the 1 on its own gives us 1, giving an answer of 1440. Now, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to use the column the sorry the box method to do the same question now the way this works is we're going to split up each number into its tens and into its units so for example 32 we're going to have as 30 and 2 45 we're going to have as 40 and 5 and I'm going to write it down here 40 and 5 don't do it level with the 30, it's going to come down one, and you'll see why now, because we're going to put a line in, like that, so you get a sort of noughts and crosses table, 
and I'll put a times here to show we, so we can see that we are multiplying. So now we're going to multiply each number by each other. So for example, the, to get the number here, we're going to do the 40, which is to the left, multiplied by the 30. The reason people like this is because you end up with the tens in, so you can just do 4 times 3, which is 12, and then you can just add the two zeros, 0, 0. Same with the 2, to get this one here you do 2 times 40, so 2 times 4 is 8, and then just add the 0 on that's in there. Next one, 30 times 5, to write in here. 3 times 5 is 15, add on the 0, 150. 2 times 5, to give this one, is 10. And now what we're going to do is we're going to add up our four answers. All the zeros give zero. Zero plus eight is eight, plus five is thirteen, plus one is fourteen. So carry the one down here, four there. And then two plus one plus one is 4, and 1 on its own is 1, giving us 1,440, the same as before. Part D is long multiplication again, but this time you've got four digits in one number, three digits in the other. Now this time I'm only going to use one method, I'll use the column method. So I'm going to put the larger, the number with the larger number of digits on top. So one, five, four, two, and then three, seven, five underneath. Three, seven, five, Put our line in, multiply sign. So now I'm going to multiply all of those numbers by 5. So 2 times 5 is 10. 4 times 5 is 20. Plus the 1 is 21. 5 times 5 is 25. Plus the 2 is 27. So a little 2. Carry the 2. Put the 7. 1 times 5 is 5. Add our 2 on, and that is 7. So that's our first part. What we've done is 1,542 times by 5. So now we're going to multiply this by the 7, which of course is really 70. And because of that, I'm going to put a 0 there first. So now we're going to do 2 times 7, which is 14. Little one there, big 4 there. Now we're going to do 4 times 7, which is 28. Add the 1, 29. Now you're going to do 5 times 7, which is 35, add the 2, it's 37. And now we're going to do 1 times 7, which is 7, add our 3 on, is 10. So we end up with a 0 and a 1 down there, which will bring straight up. So now we have done 1542 multiplied by the 70. Our last number is the 3, which of course is worth 3 hundreds, so 300. Because of that, this time we're going to add on two zeros. Now these parts are very important, people often forget to add on the zeros, but they are very important, you must not forget that. So, now we're going to multiply everything by this 3. 2 times 3 is 6, 4 times 3 is 12, so a little one, make sure you're lining it up right. So that was 4 times 3. Now we're doing 5 times 3 is 15, add this 1 is 16. And lastly, 1 times 3 is 3, and add this 1 on, is 4. So now we have three numbers which we've got to add together. So I'll put a line in, put a plus in, 0, 0, 0, 0. 1 plus 4 plus 0 is 5. 7 plus 9 is 16, add on another 6 is 22, so carry the 2, 7 plus 7 is 14, 
add the 2 is 16, add another 2 is 18. So a little 1 and an 8. 0 plus 6 plus 1 is 7 and 1 plus 4 is 5, giving us an answer of 578,250. Okay, for our extension question, we're going to look at multiplying decimals. Now, the important thing to remember here is that the number of decimal places in the question will be the same as the number of decimal places in our answer. For example, the decimal places are the digits that come after a decimal point. So here, this number, 0.56, has got one, two decimal places, whereas 2.1 has got one decimal place. So our question has three decimal places in it, so our answer will also have three decimal places. So now what I'm going to do is work it out using the column method, you can use the box method if you want, by doing 56 times 21. So what I've done here is totally ignored the decimal places and decimal points. So now if I work this out, you end up with 6 times 1 is 6, 5 times 1 is 5, so that's the first part. Now I'm going to multiply them by the 2, first add a 0, so 6 times 2 is 12, and then 5 times 2 is 10, adding the 1 is 11, bring the other one up that we carried because we've run out of numbers, now we're going to add these two together, 6 plus 0 is 6, 5 plus 2 is 7, 1 on its own is 1, another 1 on its own is 1. So now we've worked out that 56 times 21 equals 1176. So I'm going to put equals 1176. But remember, our question had two decimal places in it. Three, sorry. One, two, three decimal places in it. So our question, so our answer, must have three decimal places because the question does so where do I put the point so we have three decimal places well if I put it there we only have one if I put it there we have two so I've got to put it there to have three so our answer is 1.176 now try some for yourself 